Well, it's woodworking time. I need a toolbox from my truck. It doesn't feel like paying $250 for a metal one. So I'm just going to make a simple box one. Five foot long, about a foot wide. Clean my shop up just enough to get this job done. Alright, let's take some measurements. I already know I want to make it five foot wide. I want to see how much of it needs to be above the bed. I want that measurement right there. Three inches. Three inches is as high as I want to go. All right. I'm only going about a foot deep too, so it's a narrow box. It's really more for my fly poles, my fishing poles. All right, let's get at it. All right. I've got. Uh, one by 12 and one by 10s I believe that is yeah it's a one by 10 that's how deep the box is that's how wide it is I know these have got to be five foot long and then I've got to cut a notch in both ends to allow it to drop down into the bed I'm gonna do this with four boards hopefully if I engineer it right that's all I need Alright, got my first. This is the back plate. This goes against the back of the truck. I'm going to hinge it inside of this on this side. It'll have a, a lip on it to cover. I got to cut the other one. Then I'll slap this thing together. Got my other pieces cut to size. Now let me cut the groove out. There's my back and front, top and bottom over there. Let me put them all together. I drilled a bunch of pilot holes because I don't want that thing to split. Little, oh, that's probably an eighth inch bit, maybe. Not quite that big. I'm also going to use, these are actually face frame screws. Self-tapping, but they won't dig. If I use drywall screws, it'll end up splitting the wood, so I'm going to use these to give it a little more strength. I'm going to put a dado on the bottom edge of this thing. I might even do it on the top. I'm real tempted to do it on the top too. That gives me a lip that the that the lid will sit into. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to do the bottom and the top actually a, I need to do the bottom and the top of all sides all right let's get at it all right got all my grooves cut just the way I want them now I need to attach the bottom to the sides and then I'll hinge in the top It's coming together nicely. The screws are going to work good. Using my clamp to draw it all together. Probably should be gluing it, but I'll just caulk the inside of it. And that works out pretty good. I'm going to, have to go get some more screws. This is working pretty good so far. Alright, there's the bottom constructed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty screws in the bottom of it. <laughs> that ought to hold it. I'll be able to breed elephants in this thing. Putting in the side panel. Screw it down. Put the other one here. It's shaping up. A few screws in this thing, it's shaping up. Nice looking little toolbox. Alright, I pulled out all the face frame screws, the ones with the big heads, and just replaced them with my regular drywall screw. Two inch drywall screw, that'll hold the bottom in. I was concerned about it actually splitting. If you push too hard, you can drive that screw all the way in there and it'll, it'll split the wood. 
got the bigger heads on the outside holding the end pieces in. Now we just got to figure out how to, well I'm going to fill in that little gap right there and then fit the top. There we go. Shaping up pretty good. The lid doesn't fit quite right yet, but it will. Hinge it that way, I guess. Yeah. I'll just cut back on that groove a little bit more. Allow a little more lip in here. Some play. I'll probably also put a spacer in the middle. Help keep it apart. Got to cut out part of my bed here. It's hitting on that. That's perfect. That is perfect. Alright, make a little progress here. The hinges, got a little groove so it'll lay flat. I just could put these on and then put this on the lid and should have it. Alright, there's one toolbox. Hinges are a little ugly, but I basically used whatever it is I had. I put me some clasps on this thing to hold it tight. I'm probably going to put some end caps on it too, so that the ends, because you can see that's that's where you're going to have the gap. But it will relax and fit just fine. Stuff a fifty dollar toolbox made out of scraps, except for the, the lumber. Everything else I had, I had to buy the lumber, and that was about fifty bucks. Two uh, one by twos and two one by twelves. This is that shelving board number two. I'm going to hit it with a sander and knock all the edges off of it and stain it black. Right. There is my little truck box. It's actually for my fly fishing poles. It ought to work. Probably I'll take my sander and hit the inside a little bit. This ought to work. Nice little tight hinge and I'll have to put some straps on it so I can lock it. I have to buy those. I don't feel like engineering something for that. Let's go see what it looks like when I put it on the truck. There we go. Mighty fine. Mighty fine. Looks all right. I'm going to paint it black. Basically hide the fact that it's wood. I don't know, maybe I should stain it real pretty. Let everybody know it's wood. Hmm. Put some kind of latch system on it. Mm -hmm. Cakeage. It's gonna work fine. It's gonna work fine. A little bit on the warp side, but that's to be expected. It's wood. I gotta cut out a little bit down here to allow for this box. And that's it. And I'm gonna screw it down. I could already tell I was gonna have trouble with warping. That thing was trying to cup on me already. So I put that on there. That'll hold the top level flat, along with the two on top. That ought to that ought to do the trick. Those cleats will keep that end straighter. It also helps seal it when it drops down inside there. It seals that end. That'll kind of help weatherproof it a little bit. 
I got a little bit of warp in it, but that's okay. Now it's time to stain it black. Didn't have enough black stain, so I went ahead and used pecan colored. It's all right. I'll leave it look, looking like wood. That's the first coat to seal it. It looks okay. Nice little toolbox. Oh, there we go. Now we got some room for the important stuff in life. Now all I gotta do is add a little weather stripping. My two locks and clasps and uh, maybe a coat of black paint. I'm still not real thrilled about the stain job. And I'll get containers for each and every one of those items. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.